Uh, Professor Yang, you can upload your PowerPoint. Okay. Can you see my PPT file? Yes, it's, it's correct. Yes. Okay. Okay, good afternoon everyone. I'm Dr. Chao Long Fu, the director of Dementia Center, Songho Hospital, Taipei Medical University. The Dementia Center commits to promote dementia care and to update dementia knowledge for physician and the dementia care team member. We have already had uh, uh, 22 master contributing to this continuous education program frontier in dementia center master lecture since last year. Uh, in, uh, in this year, we have a, a great sponsor from Azai company, and we will continue to invite master to share their experience with us. The master today is Professor Dong Wang Yang. Professor, professor Yang is the professor of Department of Neurology, College of Medicine, and the Department of Neuroscience. So St. Mary Hospital, the Catholic University of Korea. He is an expert of a subjective cognitive decline, SCD, research. He also is the president of Korea Dementia Association. He is a good friend of Taiwan. And we had a wonderful time in Korea Taiwan Joint Symposium in Busan two weeks ago. The title of his Talk today is understanding subjective cognitive decline. Uh, let's welcome Professor Yang. Please. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Dong Won Yang, and I'm uh, from Catholic University of Korea, Saint Mary's Hospital. Uh, so it it is my great honor and joy uh, to uh, participate in your 
uh, the the web conference. Uh, the, so this time I uh, appreciate your invitation and uh, your uh, participation in the Korean uh, Taiwan uh, first joined the symposium in SKDA in Busan, Korea. Uh, so uh, I start my uh, talk uh, right now and I've been uh, working on the, the subject of quality decline for many years. So uh, in this time, I can share my uh, experience and my data with you today. Uh, the title of my talk is Understanding Subjective Cognitive Decline and its cl Clinical Characteristics and the Risk Factors and Future Directions in Research. Subject Cognitive Decline uh, is characterized by a self-experience of a, a deterioration in cognitive performance. Uh, this is not uh, detected uh, objectively through a normal uh, neuropsychological test and is uh, very common uh, in memory and dementia clinics, and I think it is at risk stage of uh, progression to MCI and dementia. Uh, I this is a, a case of seventy-two year old female uh, who visited uh, my memory clinic. Uh, she complained progress memory loss and worry to become demented because uh, her mother uh, was diagnosed as a uh, dementia at uh, age of. Uh, 74. And uh, this graph, this is uh, the SNSB. It is a comprehensive neuropsychological test. Uh, it is very commonly used in neurology department to, to measure the cognition. It composed of many other uh, sub uh, tests. Uh, this is span forward, backward, Boston naming test, array figure copy, and verbal learning test, or the strip test and the train making test. And uh, this uh, the shows the her performance in five domains, attention, language, visual spatial, memory, and frontal executive function. Uh, most of the scores are around uh, uh, 50 uh, percentile of the score is norm score. And uh, attention and uh, language is above the, the, the normal uh, the average score. Her MMS score is uh, 28, and APOE4, APOE uh, status was uh, uh, three homozygote. And this is her MRI. MRI shows the subtle uh, atrophy in the bilateral parietal area and a very little uh, change of, uh, in the bilateral hippocampus. I think that this is uh, normally appeared in the normal uh, old age person. Uh, she worried about very much uh, about uh, de become demented and her mother was uh, dementia. So uh, she insisted to have an uh, in-depth uh, examination of her brain. So uh, she asked me to have uh, the amyloid pad at imaging. Uh, so uh, she underwent a, a floral beta band uh, amyloid pad uh, scan. And this shows the uh, very high accumulation of the amyloid pad in the whole brain area that includes the frontal, parietal, and temporal lobe area. Uh, so uh, we can say, uh, Clinically, this patient is uh, in the stage of a subjective cognitive decline. Uh, uh, this terminology has been uh, the called in very uh, different ways. Subjective cognitive complaint or subjective memory impairment or subjective memory complaints. So uh, the four conditions uh, uh, maybe uh, describe the same conditions. I think her pathology diagnosis is Alzheimer's disease and she is at risk of a progression to MCI uh, or dementia. So uh, the SCD status is the risk of a progression to MCI and dementia. Uh, the annual risk of conversion rate of dementia uh, from SCD to uh, dementia is about around 2.33, and MCI is higher uh, than the dementia is about 6.6%. Uh, 6 per, uh, per it is higher than normal condition uh, because that in normal the, uh, con uh, control, 1% of annual the conversion to the dementia is uh, the average. Uh, this conversion rate is different from study to study. In meta-analysis uh, that followed up during four years, a seven to uh, twenty seven percent convert to MCI and fourteen percent uh, convert to the dementia. And 
This analysis may be different from clinical setting. The population-based study uh, shows the lower uh, conversion rate to, to dementia. And uh, in other words, the, the clinical setting has a higher conversion rate. Uh, in 2015, uh, we uh, studied the predictors of uh, clinical progression of a uh, subject memory impairment in elderly subject. Uh, it was analysis of data from the Clinical Research Center for Dementia of South Korea. Uh, it was written by uh, Hong Yun Jung, Yun Jung Hong. Uh, he, uh, she was my uh, the, uh, fellow uh, at that time. We found out uh, four risk factors, age over 60 years old and SVLT. It is uh, uh, the verbal memory record, delayed record test, and SVLT delayed record test below 70%, 50%, and APOI4 earlier, uh, 4 positive, and MM, MM score uh, 0 or 1, uh, below 2 score. Uh, we have uh, four uh, the risk factors, and we weighted uh, the risk factors. The age over 60 years, we give to uh, the score, and APOI4 uh, positive, uh, we gave two scores. So in total, the score is uh, range, the score range was uh, zero to six uh, score. So uh, we uh, analyzed with the Kaplan Meier uh, analysis according to the the scare uh, scare score. So the the subject uh, with higher uh, than three uh, score. Uh, score has the more rapidly progress uh, to the MCI status than the lower the score. So we found out that the SCD uh, is uh, unstable and that goes to the rapidly uh, to the um, MCI status when they had the higher risk factors. And as you know, the, uh, we had uh, uh, evolving the concept of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, Alzheimer's disease referred to the uh, neuro a degenerative brain disorder, regardless of the clinical status. If they have pathology in the brain, uh, we can uh, find out the pathology uh, with a PET or a CSF uh, protein analysis. They are in the status of a continuum of the Alzheimer's disease. So the, uh, as it is, uh, the status before the MCI stage, uh, we call it, a, it, it as a, the preclinical Alzheimer's disease. So SCD is equivalent to the preclinical, the stage of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, this uh, SCD uh, concept was uh, uh, conceptualized uh, in around 2014, and this is uh, written by uh, the Frank Jason. Uh, she was the first author in this uh, the, um, paper. Uh, the paper uh, of title is a conceptual framework uh, for research on the subjective cognitive decline in preclinical Alzheimer's disease. So uh, the SCD initiative was launched in 2012 and working uh, group was formed uh, researchers uh, uh, from clinical and population-based science of Alzheimer's disease. So uh, you can see uh, the Jason, uh, Frank Jason at the center of the picture. Uh, so uh, she uh, visited the Korea 2000, 2019 and gave a talk about the uh, SCD at the time. And I was there and uh, next uh, uh, president of the Korean Dementia Association, uh, Che, uh, standing uh, big side of my, me. Uh, this is the SCD plus research criteria. The SCD plus research criteria means that uh, if they have this kind of the condition, uh, the person, uh, the SCD subject has the increased progression to the MCI or dementia. Uh, they were subject decline in memory, uh, irrespective of function in their cognitive domains. Memory uh, was important. And onset SCD within the past five years and onset SCD at six years or older. And thus, if they have concerns or worry, uh, the, it has the higher the risk of progression to the MCI or uh, dementia. And persistent of SCD over time and the seeking the medical help and confirmation of the common decline by an observer or caregivers are 
uh, SCD plus research criteria. Concern about to become a demented or uh, become uh, worse is very important uh, in subject uh, cognitive uh, decline subject. Uh, this graph shows the conversion rate to, to the dementia. The upper the part uh, shows the normal uh, the subject without worry. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the second uh, the line shows the SCD subject uh, with worry, without worry. And the lowest part, uh, the line shows the, uh, the SCD subject with worry. So SCD subject, uh, they worried about their progression to the dementia or they're getting worse has the higher conversion rate to the MCI or the uh, dementia subject. Uh, this is the probability uh, uh, graph of the having high Alzheimer's disease uh, according to the SCD uh, complain or apply for uh, carrier status. Uh, so the the highest the, the red line that shows the uh, SCD subject with apply for positive, and the lowest uh, the line shows the SCD negative, uh, uh, normal condition without uh, apply for. So when uh, subject complain of the the memory impairment, and uh, when have the high uh, I have the APOE4, the status, they have the higher uh, rate of accumulation of the amyloid in their brain. And of course, the, the brain uh, structure change is a risk factor. The lower hippocampal volume and the thinner cortex of the Alzheimer's signature areas, uh, they were angular, precuneous, uh, supramarginal, uh, spirofrontal, parietal and temporal, inferior temporal area, and medial, uh, inferior frontal lobe area. When they have a, uh, the thinner or the small volume, they have increased risk of uh, progression to the MCI or dementia. And uh, this is uh, mm, the review paper that was published uh, uh, this year, 2023. Uh, they studied the risk factors that contribute to the risk of developing dementia in SCD subject. So they uh, search through systemic review and meta-analysis, uh, they uh, came out uh, with uh, the five categories of the risk factors. Uh, in terms of biomarkers, when uh, the subject have a high APOE4 deposition in the brain, uh, that was confirmed by the PET, and assessive higher tau, P tau, total tau, has the higher rate of reconversion to the uh, dementia or SCD. Uh, in the SCD features, uh, when they have uh, age at onset uh, after six years, and SCD in the memory clinic, and the worry, they have the worry, uh, they have a higher uh, the risk of conversion to the uh, dementia. As a modifier score, when they have hypertension, diabetes, or depression, they have a higher conversion rate. And a male subject, or APOE4 positive subject, has higher the rate of conversion to the uh, dementia. Uh, uh, from now on, I will show my the study, uh, the uh, study long-term follow-up study. Uh, this study was uh, uh, conducted uh, 2018, and the subject was uh, title of the subject was the a quarter study to identify predictors. Uh, for the clinical progression to the mild cognitive impairment or dementia from subject cognitive decline. Uh, I can call uh, this uh, study COSCO study. Uh, in this study, we enrolled uh, SCD subject between 2018 and 2021. Uh, it was uh, supported by the grant of the Ministry of Health and Welfare uh, of the Korea. This is an uh, overlook or framework of the COSCO study. Uh, six dementia clinic was involved to recruit subject, and we have a collaborating uh, three companies. Uh, row one uh, was uh, the the used the wearable device data to monitor uh, the physical status uh, of the activity, and the people bio was involved to measure the uh, blood amyloid analysis, and I Medisync uh, participated in the two uh, measured the QEG quantitative data analysis. Uh, 
uh, we had many uh, data uh, from this study. Uh, demographics we gathered and laboratory data was gathered. And uh, blood amyloid and APOE4, the genotype was uh, collected. Uh, we had a 3D MRI and the floor beta band PET amyloid to measure the amyloid status of the subject. And we had a QEG. And new psychological test, SNSP, uh, was involved uh, to evaluate their, the cognitive function. And the physical condition was measured uh, in terms of a muscle power or gait speed or circumference. Or the, we used the wearable device, Fitbit, uh, to measure the physical activity. And we had uh, the uh, measure the uh, body composition with the in-body. And we had many the questionnaires that includes the alcohol intake, the smoking status, and the physical activity exercise, cognitive and social activity, and the quality of life, depression. Oh, Professor Yang, we cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we cannot. Oh, uh, we yeah, can, yeah, yeah. But I, oh, I some problem with my system. system. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We cannot see the slide. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. It's it's coming. Okay. Okay. So uh, yes, it's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. Please mm -hmm. continue. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, the we had inclusion criteria. criteria. Uh, uh, the the subject has to be uh, six years, years older, and they were the literate, literate. literate. and they had, they had complained complain of persistent of of chronic, chronic uh, decline. decline. And they have to have a normal performance in detailed neuropsychological tests of SSMSD. Uh, they have to have a 7 to 50 percentile of the verbal memory, memory score, score in solvable memory, 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 memory test. Uh, because, because we uh, have the inclusion criteria uh, to, to increase. Uh, the uh, 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 progression rate, rate of the subject. Of the subject, of the subject. Of the subject. Uh, 
this is the profile of the neuropsychological test of one subject. Uh, they all have, have over, over 60 percentile uh, uh, of the, the, the memories, memories and, and other domain the scores. This is the verbal memory score. It's a 16. Uh, point 23 percentile is over 70 percent. Uh, so this subject has to be included uh, in our study. And this subject cannot enter our study because uh, uh, he has the lower uh, 1.05 percentile score of the memory. So uh, this subject has to be diagnosed as a, a MCI not SCD. We used the uh, wearable device, uh, PP, uh, was measured, uh, was used to measure uh, number of gait, walking distance, uh, sleep pattern, heart rate, and uh, the, we used the blood amyloid oligo measurement. Uh, that was developed by People Bio Company. Uh, we didn't use the mm, uh, actual uh, amount of the oligomer. Uh, this measuring system detects oligomerization tendency of the blood. This is a modified sandwich assay of the Elijah. And uh, this uh, can distinguish uh, from Alzheimer's disease, uh, from the ICD the subject without uh, pen uh, accumulation. We also measured the uh, blood biomarker. Uh, we measured uh, a beta 40, 42, uh, pitao 181, and gliofibrillary acid protein and neurofibrillary to light chain. Uh, uh, this was measured uh, with the SIMOA technology. Uh, for the quantitative analysis, the brain images, uh, we measured. Uh, had uh, accumulation uh, with the SUBR uh, method. Uh, we used measured the global and the reasoner uh, PET SUBR uh, with uh, the software program, and we also measured the MRI volumetry. We also measured the uh, in-house uh, program and also AI-assisted volumetry program, Aqua or Neuro AI. Uh, we used the AI-assisted automatic uh, quantitative EEG anal uh, analytic system. This is the, the characteristics of the SCD of subject that we uh, recruit. Uh, this is baseline. Uh, from the 120, uh, six, 20, uh, 26 subjects showed a head positive. Uh, it's a 21%. Uh, Twenty-one point six percent of the whole the subject. The pet positive subject uh, has a higher age. Uh, they are more APOE four carrier status, and had a higher uh, lower hypertension, and a higher rate of the coronary artery disease. Uh, this is a linear regression model uh, to evaluating the association between the apoe, uh, amyloid pet positive and the risk factors. Uh, the age was different uh, between two subjects. We uh, correct uh, the age. The hypertension, uh, left temporal and left entorhinal cortex volume, uh, and the BMI and fat and the visceral fat status on the case speed, APOE4 genotype uh, was uh, or the risk factors associated with amyloid pet positivity. And APOE4 genotype uh, was the highest adjusted uh, odds ratio. Uh, in the, the volume analysis, we found out a very interesting the finding. Uh, most of the areas were uh, uh, smaller uh, in ap apoe uh, amyloid pet positive subject. The frontal lobe areas uh, volume was uh, larger in apoe uh, amyloid pet positive subject. 
it is not easy to explain this phenomenon. Uh, we uh, thought uh, this was associated with the accumulation in the uh, amyloid uh, accumulation in the frontal lobe area that causes the maybe inflammation and the swelling. And amyloid PET positive subject used the frontal lobe uh, more than the amyloid negative uh, to compensate their the problem. Uh, we used the neural pet. Uh, this is uh, the automatic segmentation uh, reasonable volume by uh, AI-based volumetric analysis. We call this program the Aqua. Uh, reasonable volume of the subject uh, was uh, expressed as a percentile scores of norm, age, gender, and intracranial volume was adjusted. Amyloid PET positive uh, subject has uh, uh, smaller or lower volume in area of entorhinal cortex and the lingual and accumbens and pallidum and putamen. And apo amyloid PET positive subject has a larger uh, in the frontal lobe area, triangular area of frontal lobe and the medial of the frontal lobe area as well as shown in the automatic analysis of the, uh, I've shown before. In the qualitative analysis, the SCD with amyloid PET positive has a higher expression of the theta and the theta to uh, alpha ratio in the frontal lobe area than amyloid PET negative subject. I will show you two uh, paper. Uh, this was published uh, this in this year, and the Yun Jong Hong uh, published this paper. It's impact of a baseline biomarkers on cognitive uh, trajectories in subjective cognitive decline. We enrolled 120 subjects. Uh, 26 uh, were amyloid PET positive and 94 uh, subjects were amyloid PET negative. During the follow-up, uh, we lost uh, 13 uh, subjects. Uh, so two years later, we had uh, 107 uh, subjects. We had an MCI converter during two years. Uh, five were from amyloid PET positive. It's uh, 25% of our conversion rate, and uh, forward from the amyloid pen negative, it's a 4.6%, 4, 4 it's lower uh, in the amyloid pen negative subject. MCI conversion rate was around 4.2% uh, per year. Uh, as I showed before, the average of the conversion rate was about the 7 or the 6%, uh, it is lower than the average. Uh, this is the baseline characteristics of the, the progression to the MCI the subject. Uh, the subject the progression to the MCI has uh, lower scores of this span forward and uh, lower score of the MMSC and higher uh, the rate of the amyloid PET positivity. Delay the, the the recall test of the solvable learning test is a memory test, and RPOE4 carrier status uh, was lower uh, in the uh, non progressive uh, subject, a uh, uh, progressive subject. This is the baseline the characteristics of the SED subject in terms of the, the brain atrophy. Brain atrophy in the left inferior parietal, inferior temporal. Uh, right paracentral cortex and uh, left pallidum putamen areas were the smaller uh, in the progression uh, subject. This is a clinical and laboratory characteristics of uh, amyloid PET positive SCD subject uh, at 24 months. The subject has a higher amyloid uh, beta oligomer, the 
they had a higher tendency uh, of the oligomer uh, making. And they had a, a lower score of the memory score, SBR delay recall, and they have a lower score of the try making test, uh, uh, backward test. And they also had a, a small volume in the left enterrhinar and right enterrhinar and hippocampal area. The subject with the amyloid pet positive has a higher tendency of making uh, oligomer. Uh, the, it was uh, the significant at the baseline and end point, uh, but significance was lower at the baseline. This is a cognitive and the brain uh, volume change during the 24 month uh, between amyloid positive SCD and negative SCD. Dotted line shows the APOE negative SCD and solid, solid line is APOE for positive SCD. This is the memory score. Memory was uh, lower uh, in the ap ap APOE positive, amyloid positive, the subject. Uh, during the follow-up, uh, the memory was not uh, increased uh, very much, but in the uh, amyloid beta negative subject, the memory score increased during the first and the second year. Uh, we can call uh, this uh, subject has the learning ability. The interesting thing uh, we can uh, see is that at the trend making test the B score. At baseline, the score is the very same, but in uh, amyloid pair positive subject has uh, a rapid decline of the uh, trend making test score. But in con contrast, uh, amyloid uh, uh, negative subject uh, has a, uh, increasing the, the score uh, in the trend making test. The frontal lobe volume is higher uh, in the front, in the amyloid pet positive subject, but it rapidly progresses. Uh, decline, uh, but the volume was uh, higher uh, at the baseline and after 24 months later. Uh, this is hippocampal volume. Hippocampal volume was lower in the uh, amyloid pet uh, positive subject in uh, rapidly uh, uh, de decline uh, when compared to the uh, amyloid pet negative subject. Left enterrhinal volume also uh, show the lower volume in the amyloid pet positive subject. It rapidly declined when it compared to the amyloid pet negative subject. Uh, SCD subject with the pet positive were older and had a higher educational level. Uh, they had a more APOE4 frequency and higher MDS wave beta level and that they had a lower body fat and muscle uh, compared to the uh, pen negative subject. SCD pet positive were similar uh, with the SCD pen negative uh, uh, in, in regards of a small vessel disease findings or the subject cognitive decline and baseline neurocyclic tests, except the bubble memory delay decode test. At 24 months, SCD positive uh, subject showed lower uh, SBLT delay decode and uh, try make test B scores compared to the SCD PEP negative subject. And PEP positive subject showed a smaller enterrhinal cortex and hippocampal volume and higher plasma uh, MDS wave beta level compared to the PEP negative subject. Uh, this is uh, another uh, the paper uh, published by the Sungina. This is a longitudinal study on memory enhancement in subjective cognitive decline uh, subject, clinical and imaging the perspective. Some uh, SD patients report improvement in cognitive function during the follow-up. Uh, some subjects demonstrate uh, improve the scores on the subsequent neuropsychological the assessment 
This is example. This is uh, the baseline, and uh, this shows the uh, 24 month of the neuropsychological test. This subject has showed improved uh, the cognitive test in all of the domains. So this study uh, was to aim to investigate uh, the clinical features and uh, neuroanatomical status and Alzheimer's disease biomarkers of the subject uh, who demonstrated the improved memory function. So this patient has 22 percentile, but after 20, uh, four year, uh, two, two months, uh, he has the 45 percentile. Uh, we call uh, this paper uh, this subject has improved the memory uh, function of the subject. Uh, from the 100 to uh, the 70 percent, so 70 subjects, uh, we measured the severity delayed recall as a G score. Uh, no improvement, uh, the group has the 27 subjects, uh, 25 percent of the, the patients. They had uh, the uh, lower follow up the scores when you compare the baseline the uh, memory score on contrast uh, the 24 percent has improved uh, the memory score from the 27 subject nine progressed to the mci and dementia and 19 the state uh, 18 stayed at the same level of that city we have uh, the 80 uh, subjects who improved their memory after 24 months of the follow-up. It's a 74%. It is quite high. Uh, when follow-up the, the uh, SCD subjects, uh, many subjects improved their memory function. This uh, is the, the baseline the clinical uh, and the demographic characteristics of the SCD patients who improved the memory function and 24 month follow up. Improved the subject uh, showed the lower coronary artery disease frequency, age, uh, sex, education, APOE4 status, hypertension, diabetes, dyslipidemia. Smoking alcohol was not different between two groups. And this is a neuropsychological test of the baseline. The improved subject uh, shows the uh, high score of the tray making test of part B. Uh, the memory score at this span forward or other cognitive domain were not different between two groups. This is a baseline anatomical and the biomarker result of the SCD subject with improved memory function. Uh, white matter hyperintensity or lacun micro bleeding and the visual rating of the beta temporal atrophy were not uh, different between two groups. Amyloid pet uh, positivity was uh, lower in the improved memory function. Uh, no improved subject has uh, three times higher rate of the amyloid pet positivity. However, the amyloid pet uh, global SGVR uh, was not different. The p value was 0 0.074. So, uh, we analyzed in detail of the SVR uh, reasoner score. In the reasoner analysis of the SVR, the improved uh, memory function uh, subject that has uh, the lower accumulation of the amyloid in the superior parietal and inferior parietal and angular precuneus superior temporal and middle temporal of area uh, this is a volumetric analysis uh, of the signature reasons of the alzheimer's disease Memory improved the subject of the SCD uh, shows the higher volume in the superior parietal area. Oh, we measured the blood biomarker of the Alzheimer's disease in SCD subject. Uh, we divided it in two groups. 
amyloid pet positive and amyloid pet negative. Amyloid pet positive subject has a higher uh, level concentration of the GFAP and P tau 181. Amyloid pet 40 and 42, 42, 40 ratio was not different between two groups. Uh, this is the, the ROC curve to discriminate between amyloid pet positive and negative. The ROC curve of the GFAT and P tau 181 uh, shows the uh, fair uh, good discriminating power between two groups. AUC area uh, GFAP was 0.82. And sensitivity was 82 and specific was 77. The RS curve of the P, P tau 181 uh, shows the AUC area 0.83 and sensitivity was uh, around 70 and specific was uh, quite high around uh, 87. And also we divided in two groups, memory improvement group and no memory improvement group. Memory improvement to group shows the lower GFAP concentration and P tau 181. We also uh, draw the ROC curves to discriminating two uh, groups, improvement memory and non-improvement memory. The ROC curve of the GFAP and P tau 81 uh, was uh, not good to discriminate uh, two groups. The AUC area was uh, 0 0.66 uh, and the P-tau of AUC area, uh, area on the curve was 0 0.76, uh, 67. So uh, this is not the end. I'm uh, extend and elongate to, to follow up the, the, our the subject. The original Costco study uh, was started in 2018, the ends at the end of the 2021. After then, we extend this study. Uh, we call it as a Costco extension study. Of course, we follow up the original Costco study. Uh, 170 subject was uh, followed up or followed up and as a new study, Costco extension study, we include more uh, 45 SD subjects uh, with the same uh, Costco study uh, the protocol. And uh, we also uh, include 53 normal cognition subject. This subject has more than 50 percentile of the memory score. Uh, with the normal control of the subject, uh, we can uh, more clearly see the, uh, the risk factors uh, of the progression to the uh, MCI or the Alzheimer's disease. So now we have a total subject, uh, number was uh, 205. How long we have to follow up this, uh, the subject? The longer will be the better, but uh, I expect we can uh, follow up this subject uh, to the end of the 2027. Uh, maybe at that time, uh, we have enough of the subject to convert to the MCI or the uh, dementia. So we can clearly uh, see the risk factors involved in the progression of the SD subject. Uh, this is uh, my, the last slide. No, thank you. Thank you, uh, Professor Yang. Uh, yes. For his wonderful talk and uh, uh, congratulations on the successful Costco study. Uh, thank you. I, we yep. look forward to have uh, uh, to having uh, more information about SAD from you. Okay. Uh, uh, now the uh, Professor Yang's talk is open for discussion. You can use the chat. Chat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the first one is people who uh, lack insight of their cognitive impairment are seen in people with MCI and dementia.
do they present a CD stage or lacking insight being uh, benign in terms of a progression, a prognosis? Can you, yes. Uh, Professor Yang, you can see the question. Yes, I can see. Yes, of course, the, the MCI or dementia can uh, complain of the uh, memory impairment, but uh, some of them has uh, uh, insight, don't have insight. The, the, sometimes the, they cannot come to our uh, clinic. Uh, the, but the subject uh, had, had a higher rate of the progression. So in this case, we have to uh, measure their the cognitive function in detail. If they had a, a subjective uh, memory complaint or they have a very severe memory function or not. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, the second question is from Dr. Lin Yongxuan. She is a, a speaker in uh, Korea Taiwan Joint Symposium. Uh, can you read this question? Professor Yang? Yeah, other than demographics, continuities in the brain structure. Ah, in lifestyle. Uh, we had a lifestyle measurement uh, of the questionnaire, uh, but they have a different uh, lifestyle uh, in many ways. Uh, we have uh, some tendency when they don't uh, lack of the leisure time or the activity, they had a higher rate of the, uh, the progression, but it is uh, some, it shows the, some the trend, but uh, the significance was not so high. The second time, the second question was, uh, how to maintain a high rate of follow-up in this SCD uh, participants? Uh, do you think this is the high retention rate? Uh, so uh, we had a close follow-up of the subject. Uh, some subject uh, has uh, the uh, reimbursement uh, for their the, the measurement of their cognition or the brain imaging. So we uh, provide them uh, some benefit. So that's one of the uh, the reasons why we have a high rate of retention retention rate. And annually, uh, we uh, check their the health uh, the status uh, with the blood test and uh, uh, neuropsychological test. Okay, the, uh, the following question is from our president of the yes. Taiwan Dementia Society, Professor Chen. Should SCD be uh, classified into amnestic? SCD yeah, amnestic, or... yes, yes, of course. Uh, in this study, we try to include uh, amnestic SCD subject. So, that's why we defined their memory score uh, from 7 to 50 uh, percentile. I can call this subject as a SCD, amnestic SCD subject. Uh, the other SCD shows the different uh, the sub, uh, scores in their uh, domain. Uh, so, we exclude uh, non-amnestic uh, SCD subject. What intervention or monitoring plan is necessary SCD is a uh, amyloid that indicated in every space. Uh, what intervention? Okay. To reduce the progression to the MCI or the dementia, the SCD may be encouraged uh, by active uh, exercise or the participation in the uh, cognitive uh, activity. Uh, so this is uh, one of our the suggestions for them. There, there are the SCD subjects who had uh, the hearing impairment. Uh, at this, uh, for them, we uh, ask them to have the, the hearing aid uh, to increase their the cognitive function.
Now the question is uh, amyloid PET indi uh, is indication indicated in every SCT patient. Uh, every CD, not uh, in the clinic. Uh, this is a study. Uh, so we take uh, apoy um, amyloid PET in each subject. Usually in the SCD subject in the in my uh, the clinic, I don't uh, the recommend them uh, the uh, PET imaging amyloid PET imaging. But if they worry so much uh, because uh, their close relative has the uh, amyloid uh, 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 Alzheimer's disease, so uh, they complained so much uh, when it, they have, even though they have the normal uh, memory the score, uh, I uh, prescribe them a PET imaging to ease their the worry. Yes, uh, I saw your uh, presentation. You also conduct a uh, what about device and the QEG. How about the uh, the result of these two part? Sorry, I I uh, I my question is about the uh, uh, what about device? Oh, about device and, and yeah. QEG. Uh, QEG. Mm -hmm. Yes, we uh, we had baseline and the follow up the QEG. The, so we analyzed the baseline the QEG. So the result was that they had a high rate of the uh, theta uh, the wave in the frontal lobe area. Uh, we didn't analyze the second follow up the QEG yet. Uh, the other thing is the the, the uh, wearable device. Wearable device uh, was measured uh, their activity on the sleep pattern. Uh, we cannot get enough data uh, from the all of the, the SCD subject because they are very old. Uh, they know how to use the the wearable device Fitbit, and they even know, don't know how to recharge uh, the the Fitbit uh, the device. So we just get. Uh, fifty percent of the data from the one hundred twenty the subject. After that, uh, it was very very easy to get enough data from the uh, the subject. So, uh, we stopped the gathering the wearable uh, device uh, device data from the follow up the subject. Thank you. Uh, is, is there other questions from our audience? Uh, I'm interested in the uh, body weight. Yeah, body weight. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you in your study the uh, the BMI uh, lower in the yes, yes. CD with uh, yeah BMI was lower in amyloid PET positive subject. Yeah, yeah. It, How do we explain it? Was it was published. It was published in other the paper. I didn't show you uh, at this uh, the presentation. Okay, because in our data we also found uh, in the vascular dementia uh, the B uh, BMI also lower than uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, yeah also lower yeah. in the, uh, uh, stroke without yeah. dementia. Yes, the so, physical frailty is also uh, the important uh, uh, for the progression of the uh, cognitive function in SCD or the MCI subject. It is a well-known phenomenon. Okay. Uh, the other questions? Okay, uh, I, my, uh, my question is about, uh, in your study, uh, it shows uh, amyloid load, maybe the most important uh, factor Yes. Or SCD uh, with progression. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in the future, do you think uh, plasma mile marker like a P tau, uh, two one seven, yeah. is a yeah. good uh, predictor uh, for the SCD? Yes, of course. We annually we collected the blood sample from the the subject. We uh, annually the measure the plasma biomarker. And we just to measure the 
E181, but next time we will measure the uh, P271 or other the, the very sensitive uh, biomarkers for the uh, acid subject. Yeah, we, it, it should be a very uh, useful uh, study, and uh, we are looking for your <laughs> result. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, if uh -huh. you have the, the same uh, uh, court, we can compare the uh, two uh, countries' data. Yes, maybe Yongsheng, can you uh, say something about this issue? Can, can you open your microphone? Okay. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, because we have almost uh, run out our time, uh, we thank Professor Yang's uh, wonderful talk and uh, uh, very uh, uh, active Q and A. Uh, I believe you will visit us uh, next year, right? Yes. yes. We can see you next year in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, we uh, close this uh, simple uh, this uh, presentation and uh, thank you, Professor, uh, again. Thank you and uh, uh, thank uh, all the participants. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Bye bye. See you. Mm -hmm.